Hi Australia and New Zealand, my name is Marcus Chan, I'm a science writer. I was formerly a physicist at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena. I've written a book called The Ascent of Gravity, uh, which is about gravity, which is a force which, uh, you know, is a, is a mundane force which glues our feet to the ground, keeps the earth orbiting the sun, but it also controls the birth, evolution and fate of our universe. So if we can understand gravity, we can answer some of the, the ultimate questions in science. Well, gravity um, intrigues me. Uh, I'm intrigued by the paradoxes of gravity. On the one hand, it's the weakest force in nature. It's so weak that if I hold my arm out parallel to the ground, the entire mass of the Earth countless quadrillion tons, its gravity cannot pull my arm down. Gravity gets stronger the more stuff there is. So on the scale of planets and stars and galaxies in the universe, it becomes overwhelmingly important. And gravity, paradoxically, is very weak, but actually controls the evolution of the universe and, and, and ultimately would tell us about the birth of the universe. But the reason is the discovery of gravitational waves in 2015. These are ripples in the fabric of space-time. They were predicted by Einstein 100 years ago. Imagine that you've been deaf since birth and you wake up suddenly and you can hear. Uh, this is the position that astronomers and physicists find themselves in. Uh, they've been able to see the universe with their eyes, with their telescopes, uh, but now for the first time they can actually hear it. Gravitational waves are the voice of space and arguably the discovery of gravitational waves is the most important development in astronomy since Galileo turned his telescope on the heavens in 1609. My book is for everyone, I write for everyone. I used to be on the staff of a magazine called New Scientist uh, and predominantly its readership was people with a science background but that isn't who I write for. I write for my wife, she uh, has no science background, she's a nurse, she has a medical background but she doesn't really know anything about uh, physics or cosmology uh, and if she gets bored uh, I, I get desperate and have to rewrite until she isn't bored so that she's my audience. Well, gravity controls the universe. Our universe began in the Big Bang in a hot, dense fireball of an explosion and has been expanding and cooling ever since. And out of the cooling debris, they have congealed the galaxies. The Milky Way, where we live, is just one of them. If we imagine that expansion in reverse, like a movie in reverse, then we, the universe becomes hotter and denser as we get back to the Big Bang. When matter becomes concentrated, its gravity becomes stronger. So gravity, which is the weakest force in the everyday world, becomes the strongest force and the dominant force in the early moments of the universe. So unless we can actually understand gravity, we cannot understand the, the birth of the universe, why there is a universe, what came before the Big Bang, all these kind of fundamental questions. When I was writing my book, I, I learned many fun things that I didn't know about gravity. I mean, for instance, did you know that when the tide rises at the, in the ocean, in the sea, the water level in wells actually falls? and vice versa. And this is a fact that's been known since 100 BC, but it didn't actually occur to me until I read about it. Um, I also discovered that um, the Large Hadron Collider, which is this 27 kilometer subatomic racetrack near Geneva where atoms are smashed and, uh, and together to, to try and find the building blocks, blocks of matter, this actually shrinks and expands twice again because of the gravitational effect of the moon, the tidal effect. Um, and uh, another thing, uh, well, you, most children at school are still taught that gravity is a force of attraction between masses. But in 1998, we discovered the major mass component of the universe. It's called the dark energy. It's, we don't know what it is, it's invisible, it fills all of space, and it's got repulsive gravity. So contrary to what everyone believes, gravity predominantly blows rather than sucks.